Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to take a look at this tripod and I bought this tripod about uh, 4 years ago and I paid about 2500 rupees for this tripod and this one is from Benro and this is the Benro T660EX. The body of this tripod is built with aluminium. Now if you've not heard of Benro, Benro is a China Chinese company, it's based in China, Guangdong, China and they specialized in budget friendly uh, camera accessories like uh, photo tripods, video tripod, uh, camera backpacks and other filters. So when I bought this tripod there were not many options available and this looked really good in the pictures so I purchased this and in the last four years I haven't had any problem with this tripod however one problem I have is, is with the uh, quick release plate. If you lose this plate it, it is very difficult to buy online it is not available on many different many websites I checked online and if you lose this uh, it will take a very long time to to be able to get this uh, quick release plate back so try to make sure that you don't re uh, uh, lose this quick release plate so this is the box as you can see it is the it is for photo and video however a specialized tripod are also available for specifically for photos and videos but to me uh, i don't see any difference in them however you are uh, the video tripods are much more smoother when compared to the uh, photo tripod so this is the box uh, if you open the box this is what you get you will get a bag which you can hang the tripod off you can carry the tripod in this bag the tripod is a little heavy and it feels much much better than other cheap quality uh, tripods available on the website that you can buy for about 1500 to 2000 rupees so let me just open it okay so I've opened it and this is how it looks it come in this uh, plastic bag let me take the bag out let me keep the bag aside as well so this is the tripod it has three legs and this is how it looks this is the head you can loosen the vertical axis or the pan using this button here is if you look closely you will also get a spirit level that will tell you that the tripod is level or not on the side of the tripod you get this handle using this handle you can increase the height of the tripod so if you rotate this handle you can see that the tripod height increases you can decrease the height using this here is your quick release plate adjustment you can uh, put the camera in the landscape or the portrait mode you can tighten this up back again here is your pan your tilt now looking at the legs the tripod looks very good and it is not nowhere comparable to other cheap tripods I've seen those tripods they look exactly like this but the quality of this tripod is much much better than those tripods so these uh, clamps are plastic but they are very good quality so here is our clamps that hold the legs the tripod feels very good quality uh, the legs are made with aluminium and here is the quick release plate luckily I bought another one so let me just show you uh, that quick release plate so this is the spare that I bought from uh, Aliexpress it was very difficult to find this and I was very skeptic whether this one will fit my tripod or not luckily it fit but it was a little tight so I took a little sandpaper and sanded the edges down and now it fits uh, perfectly so even if I lose this plate I still have this plate or I know where to buy if in case I lose this plate so if you have this tripod this particular one or any other tripod that is budget that comes under budget then it's very likely that that tripod is going to be using uh, these types of uh, quick release plate so let me just keep that aside so to extend uh, to extend the legs all you have to do is open it the clamp like this then extend it fully then close it back and do this with all the legs close it back open this extend the leg close it back and then one advice I would like to give you is that if you want to extend your tripod 
extend your tripod from the top down instead of bottom down because let me show you if you extend the tripod from the bottom up that is if you loosen the bottom clamp first the leg that comes at the very bottom is very thin so instead of starting to open your tripod from the bottom I suggest you open from the top because the leg on the top is much more thicker and stronger so if in case if in if in a situation you don't need the full extension of the tripod open it from the top instead of the bottom that way your tripod will be much more sturdy and there uh, it is very unlikely that you will break your tripod on the back of the tripod you can see it is the very cool looking Bendro logo the model number T660EX and it looks much much better than those cheap uh, tripods uh, available in the market and let me just put a camera on it and show you how it looks okay speaking of the length of the tripod the shortest length or when the tripod is completely folded up is about is about let me extend the tape a little more is about 21 inches long when the tripod is completely folded up and when you completely extend the tripod the length of the tripod and this is the tripod fully extended and the length of the tripod when fully extended let's measure it is about 25 inches when the tripod is fully extended let's put a tripod on the camera and let's see how it looks now to attach your camera all you have to do is open this lever this is the quick release lever open this like this the quick release plate will come out now attach this quick release plate at the bottom of your camera so here is the Nikon L830 this is my friend's camera this is a point and shoot fairly decent camera this camera has been through a lot of uh, misuse or hard use as you can see the model number L830 so to attach the quick release plate on the bottom of your camera look for the uh, quick release hole and this screw will screw down into the hole so align the screw and then tighten up the quick release plate onto your camera okay so the plate is now attached now to attach the camera back onto the tripod open the lever to the right and then put the camera inside the uh, hole and then close the lever back so put the camera inside the compartment or the quick release holder now close the tripod or the quick release plate by pressing the lever inside to make sure that the camera is snug try to wiggle the camera a little bit to make sure that the camera is completely set now this is how the uh, tripod looks when on a camera now you've got your uh, tilt you can tilt the camera down or up depending upon what you're doing you can also pan the shot so let me just take the lens plate out turn the camera on the lens will come out and this is how it looks so you can tilt the camera down or up you can pan so in my four years of using this camera I haven't had any problem and this camera can take up to about uh, 3 kg of weight so there we go this was my unboxing and review after using this tripod for about four years and if you're in the market and you want to purchase a tripod I suggest don't buy the cheap options go with a decent quality one such as this one Vendor is a very well reputed company and it is very well respected all around the world so if you have the budget go for the uh, Benro uh, tripod so there we go this was my video I hope you found this video helpful I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Bye.